We are at our leadership seminar in Klostermühle, um, where we are discussing philosophy and practice and leadership in uh, critical times um, and uncertain times. And I'm very happy that I'm here with one of our participants, um, Eckhart uh, von Unger. First of all, Eckhart, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Eckhard von Unger. I work for Germany Trade and Invest. This is a federal agency supporting uh, foreign trade and uh, we also attract investment to Germany. And I am um, head of the uh, market uh, research department, which is responsible uh, for reporting on foreign markets and uh, the uh, um, opportunities and risks uh, our SMEs face there. Um, so you have a pretty big department uh, uh, for which you're responsible and you decided to come to our leadership seminar. Um, what motivated you to take the time, I mean, from your busy schedule and come from the office right here to discuss philosophy and practice? Mm. Well, in my department, we have more than 100 people uh, employed and we also employ um, others uh, um, in, in uh, more than 50 uh, countries and uh, we have a lot of uh, decisions that are difficult because they involve uh, uh, many lives and the family lives and uh, so uh, we have a lot of difficult decisions to take and uh, I was really motivated to come here because uh, it's difficult to really step back and take your time to really think what, what's important and what's not important. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm quite um, happy to see that there are leaders coming together here from around the world and uh, um, to, to share thoughts and uh, to think about uh, what's enabling to take good decisions and uh, what makes you maybe, uh, what makes it more difficult. And so uh, maybe in the future I can, can, can uh, really prepare better uh, in such situations and think about uh, also uh, practical philosophical thoughts uh, that, uh, uh, that make me a good leader, uh, to, uh, that takes good decisions. You just mentioned that this is a uh, pretty international group. Um, there are only two Germans participating this time and um, other participants come from Colombia, um, from the United States, from Romania, from Kosovo. Is there something which you found um, already surprising in the discussion, something you learned and take away? Mm, yes, I mean, uh, it shouldn't be a surprise to me because I also worked in different cultural environments, but it, it really struck me today that, that of course, due to our um, philosophical history and to, to uh, which is also um, has a, its effect on, on laws and, and, and customs, uh, um, we think about uh, certain situations quite differently. And, uh, and so uh, if you are in a international background you should maybe take also the the other perspective into account uh, but actually um, even between western countries like the US and, and Germany we learned that, that some fundamental questions are answered completely differently I think about Kant as this morning <laughs> <laughs> is, is Kant one of your favorite texts or did you have a different one which you liked better well I I, 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 I know that um, uh, I Kant is, I think, uh, important f to me, and I, I knew him before, uh, but I wasn't aware that it uh, ha had such an effect on, on the German thinking and uh, the German rules. Um, um, I, I was uh, fond of one text in, in uh, from Ursula um, uh, Le Gar, I guess, uh, I'm, if I'm not uh, mistaken, uh, about uh, I'm. Uh, utopian uh, town and uh, I think this was really inspiring because it uh, made me think really hard about what, what the um, um, uh, the cost of happiness uh, what what, what uh, consequences are uh, I do I am um, prepared to take uh, uh, for for making a right decision and uh, um, it was maybe one of the uh, more philosophical or, 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 or uh, utopian texts, uh, but uh, it uh, it made me uh, really wonder. And, and uh, um, it was uh, 
good to have a professional philosophers uh, among us uh, that knew how to interpret this text because um, I might come up with different uh, results uh, but it was good to have this uh, interaction and uh, also dispute and uh, I was happy to hear at the end that even those who, who, who discussed those texts a lot and who studied philosophy they can't say clearly what's wrong or what's right or what or what is the right answer but uh, uh, I think the exchange of, of thoughts and to 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 really discuss things from from different perspectives uh, help helps me uh, for, for the future and that is pretty much also what I wanted to a ask you in the end um, of our little talk is there something which you think you which you will take home and put into practice um, in your day-to-day -day work Mm -hmm. I think it was particularly helpful in, at our last session to to um, have practical examples from daily life and to collect uh, what what helped us uh, to take the right decision and maybe was was uh, a barrier to take the right decision and uh, I think there were a few points uh, that are really concrete like to write down your values write down your mission and then it's easier like to to um, uh, to put them up and, and or to take the, the, the long-term perspective and and not only to see the the, the project the project or, or the, the, the the short run and uh, I think on this list there are some some things that I want to take with me well thank you so much uh, for sharing your insights and certainly for also being here thank you so much thank you it's a pleasure <laughs>